Oh, that was horrible. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you guys doing today? So I know you're expecting to see some things that you're not gonna see today, but you're gonna see them anyway. This is my buddy, Jalen. Hi. Jalen, introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, I'm Jalen. Jalen is going to be taking care of my snakes while we are in Hawaii. And uh, Jalen, why don't you tell everybody what you're about? Really into reptiles and super stoked to have the opportunity to work on this channel. And today I'm gonna be just cleaning out some cages. Gonna try to get this guy, or this girl? Guy girl, girl? yeah. Girl from that side to the other and pull it out and get her back up to cleanliness. Yeah, obviously my number main one concern was him working with the pied reticulated python, which is my number one concern for myself too, so I set up a whole obstacle course for him just to really test him out. Jalen's taken care of my snakes before. This is when I was still in my closet. I wanted to kind of let him get the ropes for the room while I'm still in town and I can answer questions in person. So I figured the first order of business should be for him to clean the pied under my supervision and Make sure that goes well, and if that goes well, I'll feel a lot more comfortable about everything while I'm gone. Go for it, dude. All right. Keys, just any of them? Yeah, they're all interchangeable. And don't be nervous. I'm going to cut this to make it look like you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, cool. <laughs> First time jitters. All right. Stick it in about uh, yay far. So he's putting the divider in first. That's a good first step. I approve. Unlocking these guys. Turn it up just a little bit. And start from the back. Make sure she's not facing me either. Be gentle. There you go. Kind of trying to work from the back up because where the tail goes, or where the head goes, the tail's gonna follow. Close that up. Close this gap a little bit. Make sure that head's not gonna just pop back around. There's the head. All right. And just about. Oh, I still can keep that little bit of tail in there. Oh. I'm kind of keeping her attention over here. <laughs> Good morning. All right. I'm gonna securely lock that in. Good job. That's the thing I love about these serpentine obsession enclosures for these big snakes like this. You can just scoot them over to one side, block off the side, get it clean, open it back up. Perfect for a snake like this. I've got a big uh, gray trash can out there that you can use for, and again, all this stuff won't be in your way. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Put yeah, you got those, and now. then I've got a big gray trash can out there too oh, okay. that um, you can put stuff in, and then that you know the, that trash can can go into the big trash can outside. And that's about it. And then I just uh, I always spray down with some yeah. F10, which is hiding up here. To this guy. Right. that's that's all water in there. Okay. The F10s up there. Paper towels are up there. And then I'll always have this thing over here usually so you can easily get up top for the paper. And what I do when I'm pulling it out is I pull it, you can see I've already started on that top one, I pull a few pieces that are a little bit longer and then going past here and some that are over here, mm -hmm. that's perfect. It doesn't reach all the way to the front and the back. So having okay. some of that overlap is perfect. Sweet. That's part of the comedy of the channel is I always have everything set up to fall over. <laughs> <laughs> And you'll notice it's kind of a pain in the ass. You see how it's, oh, okay. it's pushed up on, on the front and the back and the sides and pushed down in the corners. You okay. want to have that little bit of lip up on the side. It'll save you so much time in cleaning afterwards. You know, when they poop or urinate or defecate or poop urates, the more, the more you can have covered as far as going up the corners and the sides, the better. You want to turn to the right, that's when they're unlocked. Okay. That's at least the one consistent thing. The only thing that's inconsistent is whether you put the key in with the teeth on that side or this side. It's like they're all switched up. Yeah. Is that the pretty normal amount of water you'd like to see in there? Would you like to see? The yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, they don't need it. You don't you want a super full because then they'll climb in there and yeah. displace the water and make a huge mess. And This is the other great thing about having security cameras set up in your place is if Jalen needs help or something, I can see everything he's doing in there and I can actually communicate with him with my security cameras. Check this out. See, I can see if he's working or, or just playing on his cell phone. It's great. I can even talk to him. Watch this. Hey, how's it going in there, man? Say hi to the camera. You're on camera. The one, it's up above your head. Uh, it's, uh, look up. You hear where the voice is coming from? There it is. Say hi to everybody. You're on camera, on camera. 
See, that's that's freaking awesome. All right, so we did a good job with the pied retake. We didn't actually have to put hands on it, so I wanted to make sure that you're up to task on taking the Burmese python out. All right. She can be a little bit intimidating. I've got that shorter hook over there if you if you prefer. It gives you a little, little more control. Hey. Well, you're not nearly as pissy as you used to be. me what time of day it is when I pull her out of her cage. I've never seen her not talk to somebody about what she's thinking. Oh, uh, there she goes. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> well, we have a berm on the loose. <laughs> oh, she probably smells all these rats. Yep. Okay. Come on, come this way. I have no idea what that was. I didn't think this was adventure hour. <laughs> Okay. Are you gonna give me most of it? No? You're just gonna hook onto that? Can I get these two tubs out? I don't even remember. Here, here, here. Let me, uh. I should probably, actually, I should make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna help you out, but I figured I better, I better let you do it. Look at her go, guys. <laughs> On this episode of Snakes vs. Humans! The snake's winning! <laughs> ah, snake's all good. Alright, I got you now. Hey there. Off to a little bit of a shaky start, but what's important is that he got her back on his own. Without my assistance. I was I was tempted to jump in there, but I thought no, he should probably do it by himself. You're a quick one, but I'm pretty determined. For such large animals, you do sometimes forget how fast they can really move, though. Oh yeah, she can move. Yeah, they can really move. That's what you always gotta keep in mind with these guys, is that they are very powerful. But, with the right respect and treatment, they can be just like... friendly long noodles. <laughs> All right, give it up for Jalen, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! <laughs> First time on camera. So I'm glad you guys got to meet Jalen. He is awesome. He actually used to work with Hillary over at Firestone, and he's got a real passion for the animals. He's actually going this summer to Australia to do some kind of internship on a marine biology mission, which I think is really cool, and it just shows you know, where his head's at as far as working with animals. And most importantly, I trust him. So, you know, I don't want to just leave my animals with to anybody's care. I gotta trust the person pretty good, so. I'm really happy that the Burmese python got away from him for a minute, so let me see that he'll be able to handle it in a situation. If something like that happens, he'll be able to get her back in her cage on his own without any help. And worst case scenario, you know, this, this room is climate controlled and it is sealed. There's no snake escaping this room, even if it's out of its cage, so. You know, not too many worries there. I know some of you guys are probably just coming over from Miguel's channel. I thought we are gonna see some epic, super gangster stuff going on today on today's vlog. You think that was gangster? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go ahead, player. I already know you good when I see you <laughs> running with it. But the thing is, inside of this box that Miguel just overnighted to me is my camera that I left in the back of his Impala. It just so happened that that day I filmed over half of my vlog on Noah's camera, which is the camera that I left in the back of his car. So 
I didn't get it till just now, and I don't. I really don't want to rush the edit. I, I really do, I want to put some time in and have it well edited. And the other thing is that video is going to do really well with Music Monday theme. So I figured, why not wait till Music Monday? And, you know, don't rush anything and just make it nice and make it how I really want it to be. Plus, I'm doing all kinds of other filming today. I'm filming two episodes of Triple B TV and editing them so that I can have them ready to go while we're in Hawaii. And so that's that. Also, just you know, I didn't want to rush it. Didn't want to rush it. So. I apologize, we're going to delay the release of that video until Music Monday, but I think that it'll be worth it for everyone involved. That being said, we did have some packages arrive from some of you guys, so let's open them up. This one, if you can tell by the tape, is from the Bigler family over at Morph Mixology Reptiles. Jason actually just started vlogging this week. He uploaded his first video. I will put the link down in the description for his channel. I believe he's going to take my advice and have a video go up every Wednesday. So that'll be cool. To oh! Look at this stuff. What is all this? Oh my gosh, guys! A new baby, new joys, new hopes, new dreams. Congratulations from both of us on welcoming a beautiful baby girl to your family. We hope you enjoy these items to inspire adventure in nature with a girly twist. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find baby snake items. <laughs> enjoy every precious moment from Julia Bigler. Some of these items are perfect for a baby girl to go into. Awesome, because you know, with the kids do grow and baby clothes only last so long. Awesome, yes, she will definitely grow into that. Look at that guy, he's got little dinosaurs on it and stuff. That's awesome. Some more baby girl stuff. I'm holding it upside down. This stuff is gonna be awesome. Look, she's gonna get to grow into this stuff. She'll be a big girl when she gets to wear it. More dinosaur stuff on there, little, ooh, a dinosaur hoodie. That's awesome. And check this out. Now she's got a she got a stuffed snake to match her brother's stuffed snakes. Look at that. <laughs> Man, thanks guys. That's awesome. Let's go. Let's go see how she likes her baby snake. Eli's in trouble outside. He's not helping clean up. But this Who, one. Who's that snake for? Who do you think it's for? Me. You really think this snake is for you? You. Who do you think this snake is for? Baby. Yeah. <laughs> She's sleeping. She's sleeping. We'll let the snake cuddle her. We'll let it protect her while she's sleeping. Thank you, Bigler family. Appreciate it. Awesome stuff. We got more stuff to open, guys. Man, you guys are just really killing it with sending all this stuff for the baby girl. I'm assuming this is more baby girl stuff. But these are from our buddies Richard and Heather, and they always leave us awesome comments here on the channel. Really great supporters. I don't think they ever miss an episode. Look down in the comment section, you'll find you'll find Richard and Heather's comments. They always leave awesome, awesome comments. Great folks. We hope to meet someday. These are fantastic guys. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Let's get back up here and see what the fam is into. Hopefully Eli is still not in trouble. Mm. Oh really? Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Mirrors. Mirrors? What about mirrors? That that some kid makes stuff look. Really? <laughs> how, how did that go again? It makes stuff look like what? Um, anything else you'd like to let us know about mirrors? Some are black, some are silver. <laughs> really? <laughs> so it seems like maybe your, your knowledge on mirrors is quite limited. What are mirrors good for? For looking yourself <laughs> yeah, I'm looking and some years look upside down <laughs> anything else bud that you'd like to let us know about that some are O's and some are monkeys some are elephants <laughs> And some are giraffes, and some are lions, and some are cameras, 
and some are houses, and some are Eli's. What do you know? I know. Tarantulas. What about tarantulas? That tarantulas big and strong and big. That I know. Every time? Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to eat, clean the house, pack for us four. Pack for what? For a trip. Trip where? For Hawaii, bro. <laughs> Chaka burrito. <laughs> Tell us about Hawaii. Mm, we are going, and my best friend's getting married. So we get to go to that, and we're staying at our friend Malia's house on the east side, and I'm super excited. Once we get there and get the plane ride over with. <laughs> Anything special about Hawaii you'd like to talk about? Living in Hawaii, being, um, being a... super special place. Yeah, it's where. I pretty much became a one <laughs> um, and met you and had our firstborn, huge part of my life and uh, hold, will always hold a very special place in my heart. Yep. Oh baby, and this will be your first trip. Well, obviously. <laughs> you haven't been to Hawaii yet? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> Time for, oh, Jesus. Ow, ow. There's lots of pokies up here. It's time for Cusco Uncut. Oh, everything's pokey back here. Well, if this is your first time joining us for Cusco Uncut, basically what it is 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 just what it sounds like. Me, uncut, unfiltered, unedited. If this is your first time watching one of these videos, or even your second time, you've probably noticed that I do love my editing. So this is a time, this is a moment for me to leave the editing behind and just talk about whatever's on my mind, uncut, unfiltered. And I last, last Cusco Uncut, I asked you guys to tell me what you wanted to hear me talk about, and there were a bunch of responses, but the one that stuck out in my mind the most was living in America. That's the one I'd like to talk about. Living in America is, we'll start with the bad, and we'll end on the good. I'm a, I'm a bad news first type of guy. And the first thing is, you know, America in itself, because I know you mean the United States, and there's much more to America than the United States. You got North America, you got South America, Argentina, all the way up to Canada and Alaska, you know, which is technically part of the US. It's, it's, that right there in itself, I think is the reason that a lot of people in many countries have disdain towards Americans is that we refer to ourselves as Americans and disregard all the rest of North and South America as the Americas. We are the United States of America. So, that helps feed into some of the bad stuff, I think. And then the fact that we're a very young country in the world and like many young growing things, people, for example, teenagers, we like to run around, boast and blow things up and they go, look, here, I'm, I'm big, oh, our testosterone's raging. You know, which, which also leads to us getting a, a bad name on the global scale, you know. Uh, so again, I start, I'm starting with the bad, starting with the bad stuff. There's a weight. If you've ever left, if, you, if you've lived and grown up in the United States and you've ever left, there's a weight that I, I've talked with about many, I've talked with about to many other people as well, is this, this like weight on your shoulders, you feel lifted when you leave the country. I don't know where that comes from, but it's something I can't deny. Every time I've, I've left the country on many, many occasions, and while I'm out there, I, I feel that kind of guilt or weight lifted when you're not there and you come back and you kind of feel it come back down. I don't know if that's because of how much involvement the United States has in other countries' business and the name we're making for ourselves out there to other countries <laughs> seem to be. But the thing is, we don't, 
America is very diverse. You know, this is this is a place of immigrants, and we are all immigrants here in the United States. Everybody, even even what we call Native Americans, they I believe came over on the land bridge a long time ago, a long, long time ago, to where. You know, if anybody's an, not an immigrant, it would be them. But we are a country of immigrants. And it's funny to me when people start talking about, oh, we need to keep immigrants from coming here. It's like, that's what this country was born on, is people coming here from somewhere else, everywhere. That's what, that's what, you, that's what the United States is. So that's, that's what the Statue of Liberty stands for up there, saying, you know, bring me your tired, bring me your poor, bring me... So, I, I guess that was all the bad stuff. On the good side, there's a lot of good side. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're homeless in the United States, you're w more doing better than, you're, or you're more well off than a lot of other people are in the world, just being without a house here. So that's not so bad. It is a good place of opportunity. You can do whatever you want here, essentially. I mean, yes, there are laws, especially in California, against just about everything, it seems. But on the other side of that, there are loopholes through everything, too. There is so much opportunity here, which is why so many people have come here and are still trying to come here, is that the amount of opportunity is, is unbelievable. You can literally do just about anything you want here. If you have the will, if you have the drive, Daddy, you, you can do it. Is it time to lift up those big woods? Oh no, we gotta wait till a little longer, bud. Yeah, so... There, I, I think I summed it up. I think I, I don't want to ramble too long because I can literally talk about this subject for hours on end and it feels a little weird without having somebody talking back to me about it to give me some feedback immediately on the things I'm saying. And I could really go on and on forever on this subject. So I, I really won't. But that's it in a nutshell. That's the good. That's some of the bad. Maybe we'll talk about it again on another Cusco Uncut. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's hear, I know that most of you live in the United States. Most of you commenting, not all of you. There's definitely, we have a good, handful of international subscribers here let's hear your guys thoughts on this subject what is america to you united states kneel down and do that stupid through the grass intro ow some big thorn. <laughs> Ouch.